Brandy with Yahoo, and I am here with Corey Kaye, Michael B. Jordan's trainer, and we are gonna talk to him about how Michael B. Jordan gets in shape for movies like Black Panther, Creed, and pretty much anything. You wanna train with anybody else but me. I train with Michael, as you say, year round. I mean, anytime you wanna work out, he knows I'm there. You know, we have that relationship. It's not just for the movies, it's for life. For Black Panther, I wanted to make sure that we do a lot of weight training because I wasn't trying to make him as conditioned as I would do a boxer. So you would do a lot of weight training, compound movements. The nutrition was very different. While training for a boxing movie, it takes a lot of plyometrics, a lot of running, a lot of work, a lot of conditioning, triple set, tri set, just a lot of work breaking the body down because at the end of the day, to be a successful boxer, you have to get in shape really, really well. So before the movie, I'm giving him a slight pump. We're doing push-ups, we're doing pull-ups, we're doing different things while I'm doing a lot of resistance going back and forth with him to get the muscles real round and popping. Also, you know, getting a good sweat, getting them shiny. And it all depends on how thin he is as far as when it comes to the skin and the density of it. I might feed him some type of sugar to get his veins popping, to get the muscles of the blood really flowing. So it all depends on what we're doing and where we're at on what I'm going to feed him or how I'm going to train him before the movie. I think anybody can do a good program eating-wise and training-wise. It just takes you. No matter what it is, you can do it. We started off in an apartment gym having the bare minimum to train, and that was on Creed 1. We, we took it to the next level with the body, so I think anyone can do it. First exercise is called a knee touch. So we're gonna lay straight up, have our arms all the way up. What we wanna do is we're gonna bring our arms, touch our knees right here. What you wanna do is make sure that you crunch it and come all the way back up, all right? You really don't have to come off your back. All you wanna do is take your hands and touch your knees. Come right back up. We want to keep doing these for about 30 seconds or maybe 20 or 25 reps. But if you keep doing them right, you'll definitely feel it. All right, next exercise I like to call butterfly. So what you want to do is you want to lay flat. Put your hands right underneath your boots. You want to take our feet, come all the way out, bring them right back in. All right, you ready? Okay, yeah, I'm Let's ready. Let's go, feet all the way up. Open up wide, right back in. Right, you want to lower them a little bit, then you go good. You want to come down. In the plank position, we want to drop our hips down to the right and to the left. Watch me first, and then we're going here. So we come in here, drop all the way down, right back up, down to each side. Now what that's doing is, you're working on your obliques. You want to get really good obliques. Women love to have good obliques. Good. Side to side. There you go. Good. Touch. Good. Join. Let's go. 